What is going on everybody? It's your girl Turtle and I am back with another tier listing ranking video. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these but I feel like I should get back into it. This time I am ranking Disney movies. So what is so exciting about Disney movies for me is I grew up on them. Like I've watched them since I was like two type stuff. Like, if it wasn't me watching Sesame Street or Care Bears, I was watching a Disney movie. My ultimate favorite growing up was, like, Cinderella. She was, like, my idol growing up. But now that I'm an adult, obviously, like, there's, like, way more Disney movies. There's even some I actually haven't even seen yet. Like, I haven't had time because I work and stuff. But to def some of them I definitely have to see. A lot of the old school ones I have seen, though. So we're going to be ranking them based off of the best Disney movie, like, ever. Sorry, let me move that thing out of the way. Uh, amazing magical experience like it's not like the best Disney movie but like definitely like some of my favorites but like not my ultimate favorites then we got very good like the ones that are like really good but like like aren't like top top pretty decent or ones are pretty cool like they're good but they could be better um, ones I would still watch, like, they're watchable, but, like, I don't watch them all the time, and then you got worst movies ever, like, the ones I don't even watch anymore, and then I got the ones I haven't seen yet. So, let's go ahead and start ranking them, so I'm basically gonna rank them based off of, like, 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 oh, the overall movie itself, like, the storyline, the characters, I'm gonna rank it based off of everything, so let's go and get started. So, first we got Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is a classic. I love Sleeping Beauty. Um, I wouldn't say it's my best Disney movie ever, and I wouldn't say a magical experience because Sleeping Beauty is not one of my favorite Disney movies or my favorite princesses in general. I will definitely watch the movie still, so I'm going to put it in very good. Um, 101 Dalmatians. I love that movie. <laughs> I love anything that has to do with dogs. And, like, I like the, like, the OG 101 Dalmatians, like the one they're showing right here right now. Like, I just love how they, like, ended up having 101 dogs. Like, that's amazing to me. Um, and they actually took them all in, too, which is, like, super cool. So, I'm gonna put this one as an amazing magical experience. Uh, The Sword in the Stone. See, this is the thing. I do like this movie a lot, but it was one of those ones, like, again, like, it was, like, one I watched, like, a lot when I was younger. Um, so, I'll put it, probably put it in very good. It made me laugh a lot, especially with the squirrel scene. That was, like, my favorite scene of that movie. Jungle Book. Jungle Book. Um. See, a lot of people like Jungle Book. I like it, too, but I think I'm going to put it in very good just because it's not one of my favorites. Aristocats. That's definitely going up here an amazing magical experience. The music in general just always made me so happy. Everybody wants to be a cat. <laughs> um, and I love, like, the kittens. Like, they're so freaking adorable. I just like the storyline in general. It's so cute. Uh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood is like one of those movies I grew up on, but I don't really watch it as much anymore. Um, I think I'll put it in the pretty decent category. Winnie the Pooh, though. That is like, like something my little brother, like that was like his whole entire like nursery theme was Winnie the Pooh. And actually, Winnie the Pooh is the reason why I started drawing in the first place when I was seven. Because I would use to draw his little figure characters. And I'm going to put Winnie the Pooh in pretty decent. Because, like, it wasn't something I was really into. It was just more so for my brother. But, yeah. The Rescuers, I'm going to put in very good. But I'm going to put it over the Sword in the Stone. Only because the Rescuers, like, I actually like that movie a lot. But it's not, like, my top favorites. The Fox and the Hound. I love The Fox and the Hound. It's going up an amazing magical experience. I actually love that movie. It's so freaking cute. Now then you got the... I've never seen this movie before. What is it? The Black Cauldron. So that one's going there. I've never seen that one before. I'm so sorry if you guys like that movie. Snow White. It's the same thing like with like the Sleeping Beauty movie. I really enjoy Disney princess movies. But I'm very picky about my movies. And honestly, Snow White, no offense, like, for one, that movie was, was based around, like, a younger child, technically, and then, like, a grown man, and then on top of that, she kind of was, like, kind of, like, dumb-witted, in my opinion, because she freaking, like, took an apple from a stranger, and then freaking, you know, like, there's some, mm, no. So, I'm gonna put her in the pretty decent category. I, like, you know, it's still a good movie, but, like, there's, like, a lot of wrong with it. The Great Mouse Detective, I know a lot of people don't feel this way, but I actually am going to put this, like, 
of the very good, but it's like under a magical experience. I actually love the Great Mouse Detective. That's like one of my like one of my favorite ones I like watching growing up. But I wouldn't say that's like one of my top favorites now. Oliver and Company easily being put up. No, wait, no. Oliver and Company is be- like in the best. A lot of people, like, have that one so underrated, but I'm telling you guys, I freaking love Oliver and Company. Why should I worry? Why should I care? Yeah, yeah. Like, I love that movie. Like, so much the characters, the music, all of it. It's so amazing. Little Mermaid. I'm gonna put this one in the magical experience. I actually do really enjoy the Little Mermaid movie. Um, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, down, The Rescuers Down Under, I have only seen that movie, like, maybe, like, a couple times my whole entire life, I don't really remember it really well, so I would put it and still watch, watch it, so yeah. Beauty and the Beast, definitely going up in the best Disney movies, I freaking love Beauty and the Beast, like, it is probably one of my favorite Disney stories, besides, like, two other ones that's gonna be in this list, hopefully soon. Aladdin, I'm gonna put a magical experience, I'm gonna put it above Actually, I'm going to rearrange this list. 101 Dalmatians will go down here. Aristocats comes down here. I think Aladdin will go over that one. Okay, I think that's the way I'm going to put the list for now. So, I actually really enjoy Aladdin. Like, that's a really good movie. Like, I actually love Aladdin. Nightmare Before Christmas, that's definitely going up here. (laughs) I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, it's definitely one of my favorite Tim Burton films, but the fact, like, t- like it's one it's a Disney movie makes it even better. Lion King definitely comes up here in this tier list as best movies ever. I freaking love The Lion King. The Goofy movie can go in the Im- a magical, like, the amazing magical experience, because I love the Goofy movies and stuff. Like, I grew up watching those. Pocahontas, I'm gonna put in very good, but she'll be very high, very good. I love Pocahontas, but, like, she's not, like, my top, top favorites, honestly. Pinocchio is, like, one of those things I th- say is pretty decent. I'm not a big fan of Pinocchio like everybody else is. Toy Story, definitely putting this in the magical experience. Not one of my favorites, but I definitely did enjoy it. James and the Giant Peach, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I only watched it a couple times. So, I'm gonna put it under here just because I've seen it before, but I'm not a big fan if that makes sense um hunchback that movie it's pretty decent like it's not one of my top favorites but i do like it hercules hercules is pretty good i'm putting pretty decent but it's gonna be like in the top area mulan mulan definitely gets a best disney movie rating for me i freaking love mulan then you got a bug's life bug's life is very good i do enjoy the movie i just don't really watch it a lot probably we've lost one of my pillowcases Sorry about that, guys. So, I'd say, like I said, Bug's Life will go up here more. Only because I prefer it over some of these other ones. Uh, Tarzan. Tarzan, I actually did enjoy it. But I'm definitely going to put it, like, up in here somewhere, probably. Uh, like I said, it's not my magical experience or, like, the best or anything. Uh, Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2, I actually enjoyed more than the first one for some reason. I actually, like, love both a lot. Part 2 is, like, my favorite. Oh, my gosh. So, these ones I really don't really watch. I remember watching them, but, like, they're not, like, my favorite, if that makes sense. They're, like, eh to me. Alright. Is it bad? I do not like this movie. I'm just going to put that there. I am apologizing to anybody who loves that movie. I just... It's not my favorite. I really don't watch it a lot, ever. I don't... I I watched it one time, and I just don't like it that much. Alright, the Tigger movie. I freaking love the Tigger movie. It's such a good movie. I'm putting it, like, up here somewhere. Like, I actually enjoyed the Tigger movie. The Emperor's New Groove. That goes in the best movies ever. I freaking love that movie. Monsters, Inc., same thing. Freaking love Monsters, Inc. Lilo and Stitch. Top tier. Top freaking tier. Treasure Planet, I actually don't like that movie either. I really did not really watch it like that, to be honest with you guys. Uh, Neverland, that's part two to Peter Pan, so... Uh, I did like it. It was pretty decent, though. It's not as good as the first one. The Jungle Book 2, same difference. Like, it's... Eh, it's okay. Uh, this, The Piglet's Big Movie, that's a pretty good one. I actually did like that one a lot, too. 
I'm probably going to put it, like, in, like, around here, though, I would say. Finding Nemo. I freaking love Finding Nemo. I'm putting this one. It's not, like, my ultimate favorite, so I'm going to put it on the top of the ima amazing and magical experience. Brother Bear. Oh, my gosh. I love Brother Bear. I'm putting him up here. Freaking love Brother Bear. I feel like this list can be better organized. So I think I'm going to put this one over here. Um, I like Lion King over Brother Bear. I think I like like that maybe. Dumbo. Dumbo I actually used to love watching, but now I'm like older. It's like it's a good movie, so I'm gonna put them in very good. Home on the Range, same thing. It's a very good movie. I did enjoy it a lot. This is kinda out of order, so ignore it. Uh The Incredibles, I'm gonna put in the top of up here. Just because like I like the movie a lot. Alright, moving on. Alright, so it's another one of those Winnie the Pooh uh, movies. I'm going to put... It's the one with the Heffalump. I'm going to put it in pretty decent because I, I like that one, but like not all the way. Chicken Little. Is it sad? I actually did not like Chicken Little. Like, that's one movie I did not like. Bambi 2, I'm going to put in very good. I actually enjoyed Bambi 2. Uh, Cars, I'm going to put it in very good as well. It's one of those another movies. Meet the Robinsons. Did not like that movie at all either. I know I'm going to get so much hate and I am so sorry. Ratatouille. I love Ratatouille. I'm putting this like at the very bottom of best movies because I love it. Wally, I did enjoy it, but it's not like my one of my favorites. I'm putting it there. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell has so many movies. Tinkerbell, I'm original. I'm going to put up here. All right, let's see. Regular Bambi. Ooh. Thing is, I love Bambi. I'm gonna put it in amazing. Yeah. Now, more Tinkerbell. Like, there's so many Tinkerbell movies. It's unreal. Okay, Lost Treasure, I actually did enjoy. Same with The Great Fairy Rescue. Same with The Secret of the Wings. I actually never watched The Never Beast one. I don't know why I've never seen that one. I used to be obsessed with Tinkerbell. The Pirate Fairy, I did not like that one that much, though. So I'm going to put that one here in very good. Or, um, yeah, very good. It's pretty good. Up, I actually like that movie a lot. It's going to go up here. Princess and the Frog, hands down one of my favorites. Fucking love that movie. I think I'm going to put it above Beauty and the Beast, but just... I feel like Oliver and Company goes behind that, though. I think I'm going to put the order like that. Yeah. Alright, Toy Story 3. I actually did like Toy Story 3, but not as much as I did the other two. So I'm going to put it in very good. Tangled. I freaking love Tangled. I'm putting like at the top up here. In an amazing magical area. Cars 2. Eh, I'd still watch it, but I don't really like it as much. Cinderella. Love Cinderella. Grew up watching her. She'll always be one of my personal favorites, but I'm gonna have to put her... Oh, do I prefer that one or that one more? I don't even know. That's the sad part. I think I'm just gonna put her in second place overall. The other Winnie the Pooh movie. Let's see. That one is still same thing. Pretty decent. Brave was a good movie. I actually liked Brave. Oops. Ah. Messing up my tier list here. I'm gonna put Brave in here. I'm gonna put it like up higher. I actually love Wreck It Ralph. It's a really good movie. I'm put that one up here too. Monsters University. That was very good, but it's not like my personal favorite, so I'll put it up here somewhere. Planes. I actually did not ever watch Planes, so that's gonna go haven't seen yet. Frozen. <laughs> now, this one's a fun one. I enjoyed Frozen when it first came out, but children ru ruined that for me. So, Frozen is going to go in very bottom good because I still watch it, but, like, it's burned out. Planes, yet again, uh, part two. Is that what that is, part two? I've never seen the first one, never seen the second one. So, Big Hero 6. Definitely putting that in the best Disney movies ever. Freaking love that movie. Inside Out, that was a pretty good one. I'm going to put it at the bottom of, like, a magical experience. The Good Dinosaur is really good, too, actually. So I'm going to put that one there as well. Alice in Wonderland. Now, believe it or not, I am actually not a big Alice in Wonderland fan. But I'm going to put it in pretty decent because I still like it. I definitely like it over some movies. So I'm going to put it, like, up here. 
Zootopia. I actually really like Zootopia. I'm going to put it in the second category, though, because it's not, like, my personal favorites, but I, do, I did enjoy Zootopia. Finding Dory. My issue with this is they took forever to bring out a Finding Dory movie in general, which is really upsetting, but I still love it. So I'm going to put it, like, down here just because of that reason. Moana. I'm going to put it in that, too. Cars 3, I did not like. Whoops, wrong one. Like, I actually did not like it. They should have stopped at the part two, in my opinion. Coco was a good movie. I'm going to put that one, like, up here. Incredibles 2 could have been better, but I'm going to put it in pretty decent just because it could have been better. R Ralph Breaks the Internet, that was a good movie. I actually liked that one a lot. Uh, but I think it's going to go, like, a high, very good. Toy Story 4, they should have left it off with 3, but, you know, they have to always bring out something. At least, yeah, hopefully this is the ending of it. So, we're going to put this in low, pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Put you up there. Frozen 2. I actually liked Frozen 2, surprisingly. I'm going to put it, like, right next to Frozen 1. Onward, I actually have not seen yet, which I'm very sad about. I really need to watch it. Then you got the original Peter Pan, which I actually really enjoyed that movie a lot. So we're going to put it here. And last but not least, Lady and the Tramp. It's going to go in a very high, amazing, magical experience. Alright, that is all the movies on this listing So that they had. So, as you can see, my top favorite movies are Lilo and Stitch, Cinderella, Princess and the Frog, Nightmare Before Christmas, Oliver and Company, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, Brother Bear, Mulan, Monsters, Inc., Emperor's New Groove, Big Hero 6, and Ratatouille. There's, like, my ultimate favorite Disney movies. Like, if you were to ask me what Disney movies I would want to watch, these are usually the ones I would say. Especially, like, Lilo and Stitch and, like, the first top four you see. Those are, like, my ultimate favorites. I freaking love those movies. Um, <clears throat> then Amazing Magical Experience. These are movies basically I would watch over and over again and be happy with, but, like, they're not my ultimate favorites. Then you got Very Good. These are movies I actually do enjoy watching, but I, want, I watch them, like, like, a little less than often, I guess. Pretty Decent. These are movies I actually enjoyed, but, like, I enjoyed a little bit, but, like, they could have done better with. Um, I still watch them. They're movies I've seen, but I really don't watch them a lot just because, like, they're okay. Worst movies ever. I don't even watch these movies because I did not like them at all. And then these movies, I still gotta watch. I have not seen any of these yet, so. <laughs> I'm almost a diehard Disney fan. I'm only missing, like, five. It's not that bad. But, anyway, guys, if you guys, uh, did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like on it. Um, comment down below, like, how you feel about my tier list. But, anyway, like I said, if you guys, uh... <laughs> have a different opinion about this tier list let, let me know which one you guys think are the best movies and which one you guys think are the worst ones uh make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell post notification so you guys don't miss a video and as always guys i'll see you guys in the next video bye